70. We have Disco Lim. One thing you remember about the marching band in Wisconsin, Mr. Leckron feels that the one style of music does well at halftime and he always uses it at the bowl games is disco. So, we are going to play three songs, Stay in Alive, The Bee Gees, I Will Survive, Gloria Gaynor, and then there's YMCA by the village people. Now, at the very end of this, we get to do Y M C A three times. So maybe someone will come out here and direct. You may be on your own. I was told by the band that we need no practice. You know what you're doing. Let's see what happens.
the memory test. By the way, there was an older couple out here I saw. Kudos, points, something else. We'll see. Anyway, who remembers Proud Mary? That was one of the more popular songs of the day, I gather. Anyway, it was written by the American singer and guitarist John Fogarty. It was first recorded, first recorded in 1969 by his band, Credence Clearwater Revival. It was also a hit. Now, John had pictures in his mind when he wrote this song a paddle boat on the Mississippi River. See if you can figure that one out. We have another crisis. Violet Parents of Violet Klaus. Parents of Violet Klaus are on call. Right up here, to your right. internal combustion engines. So here we go with the beer barrel polka. Where are the dancers? This is the polka. Polkas are made for older people. Beer barrel polka. Now remember, 1927 it was written in Czechoslovakia. 1934, the Germans picked it up and called it Rosalinda Polka. That was different from the Czech name of Rosalinda Polka. And then the Andrews sisters in the World War II decided to Americanize it. And that's what we have now. But remember also, we sing it between innings of the seventh inning. Only we do that. Here we go, Here we go.
Three cheers for the tuba section. Tom Bristow and George Hardy. You want to stand up or did you do enough? That's enough. So we come to an end. And we end now with On Wisconsin. Remember On Wisconsin was lifted from University of Minnesota and their tryout by a Wisconsin alum. It is considered by John Philip Sousa to be the most popular school song and that's recognized because there are 2,500 schools that use that melody for their school song. And we end the concert with On Wisconsin, but we have one more. A week from Sunday, August 14th, Sunday at 3 o'clock. Now, the sad news is no ice cream. Sorry, maybe we can talk to Foundation. I don't think it'll work. Um, the good news is good music on a Sunday afternoon. Your job is to keep the rain away. So we'll see you Sunday, August 14th, here at 3 o'clock. Thanks for coming. It's been fun, particularly playing to the dancers. <laughs>